Hi, I'm Kristen Boyd Edwards, Director of Community Engagement for the Reading School District. Thank you for joining us on this month's episode of Red Night TV. A few things that I want to share with you before we jump into today's show. First, did you know that the Alumni Association of Reading High School is the oldest high school alumni association in the state of Pennsylvania? I learned that information this week and I thought that was pretty cool. Another fun fact about our Red Knights, our class of 2015 included 732 graduates. Of those, 89% are now pursuing post-secondary education, including at two-year and four-year colleges, trade and technical schools, and the armed forces. An additional 10% have obtained full-time employment at Berks County companies since graduating in June. Second, we want to tell you about our new anonymous tip line started by our Safe Schools Department. We encourage students, staff, community members, and parents to use the tip line to share information about issues or incidents regarding the safety of our students. You can either call the tip line or send a text. It is overseen by our director of Safe Schools, Juan Rondon, who is fluent in English and in Spanish. The tip line is posted at the bottom of your screen, and it's also posted on our Reading School District website at www.readingsd.org. Third, we want to congratulate Mr. Eric Turman, the principal at Reading High School. He received the Distinguished Alumni Award from Alvernia University. Alvernia noted that during his tenure here at Reading High, he and his staff have helped to improve graduation rates from 53% to nearly 70%, and they've helped to decrease dropout rates from 15% to 5%. That's something that definitely makes us RSD proud. Now for today's show, we have a jam-packed and entertaining episode for you. We'll take a look at Spirit Week at Reading High School and the new Snapology Robotics Club at 13th and Green Elementary. We also held several special events recently, including Super Saturday with the Olivet Boys and Girls Club. We had an open house at Southwest Middle School and we had a special visitor there, K-9 Cody from the Reading Police Force. We also welcomed USTA Undersecretary Kevin Concannon to our district. He stopped by Lars Park Elementary to recognize our stellar food services department. Then we'll wrap up with something plain old fun, and that is our new game show called 60 Seconds. It's hosted by Khalil Eady, who's a senior at the high school and a top 10 student. He is hilarious. He was definitely born to be a star. So we know you will laugh at the episodes, and you'll also have an opportunity to get to know some of our phenomenal staff and students a little bit better. Enjoy.
Welcome everyone and good morning and good morning. welcome to Lowers Park. Lowers Park. I first would like to say uh, on behalf of Mr. Hudak, our building principal here, uh, Mr. Hudak, thank you for your hospitality today. Um, this morning is a, is a monumental time for us because uh, we are able to reap the benefits of CEP or the Community Eligibility Provision, which is extremely important for our children here in the city of Reading. week to me the highlights of the week are coming to schools like this one because each day across the US about 30 million children have lunch at school about 14 million have breakfast at school and uh, in states uh, like Pennsylvania the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania more than 900,000 students have lunch each day through the National School Lunch Program this school is has has uh, promoted uh, gardens, different approaches that again reinforce for students one not only where food comes from but the importance of looking after the soil or, or how how food is grown, uh, healthy aspects of living and uh, you know uh, when I come into schools like this I often think of schools like a ship and the principals of the school like ship captains they're responsible for everything good, bad or indifferent and you've had a principal here, fortunately, who's well tested. I think he mentioned he's been here for decades, uh, happily so. And uh, but it takes leadership of uh, superintendents or principals or school boards or state policymakers to uh, provide opportunities like this for these students and their families. Yeah. And when we take you inside, we'll you inside. the. ABC Garden, which is the primary garden, it's all about the honey and how we use the honey because we also package the honey and we sell the honey. Well, I'll be there we'll let them grow for one mm -hmm. season, the next year we can sell them. And at the end there we have display gardens to show the people in the neighborhood how they could use these plants. We have drought tolerant plants, we've got perennials, fall plants that are native to Pennsylvania. Well, we got we got one with ants in it. We got one with ants and turtles. Yeah, we're gonna put really? it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like it's like it's the ABC and they're garden. It's called it's in the ABC garden. You took away all the barriers of why it couldn't work because every building works differently. They they have a different population, a different social environment, and. Every school's plan was recognized and we were able to implement it. And it's really because of that why the program is successful, because we were given the backing to, to have the support that we needed. When I was in school, I did struggle with my grades. I didn't really like school because I was struggling. I didn't feel confident about myself at all. I felt like I just reached my breaking point. Like, I didn't care no more. Forget school, forget life. I started working when I was on a young age. It was crap milling. My life wasn't focused on school. Public education is designed to provide all young people at a shot with the American dream. Each year, we see about 1.2 million young people who never graduate and never will, which means they are pipelined to be second-class citizens. For many of the kids that I serve, the idea of what's normal is very different. What's normal for them is the power going out moving every six months, calling your mom while she's at work and trying to make sure you're not getting her fired. These children didn't choose to be disadvantaged. They didn't choose to be poor. They didn't choose to not have mentorship. And they didn't choose to not have the basic necessities at home. Our mission is to go to the poorest performing schools and the poorest kids in America 
So it is going to the heart of the dropout problem and attending to the non-academic barriers so that we could actually free up the young people to be able to learn. In community are extraordinary resources. They're just disconnected from the very young people that need them. When you link those great resources with a kid that's really in need, magic happens. And you see kids just flourish, even in the most dire circumstances, when there's a caring adult providing them the kinds of resources they need to be able to succeed academically. The communities and school site coordinators are the hub of activity in the school. They connect children with whatever they need. My job is to empower them, bring the community and the resources that are around to support them. They may have what it takes, but they don't know what steps they need to take in order to get there. If I would not have met Mr. Weeks, I would probably not be in high school. He was the one who provided me for anything I needed help with in school or at home. He gave me hope, he gave me a lot of hope put me back on track. That's what our schools need to be doing, is allowing our teachers to teach so that our staff, who are dedicated, giving, generous social workers and counselors, can get to the root of what's going on with that child and fix it. Communities and Schools has a, a unique and critical role in helping to improve education in America. For every dollar invested in Communities and Schools, we return to the community $11.60. There is actually a good economic argument to do the right and just thing. Communities and schools knows that the heart of every child wants to succeed. We unlock that voice within the child that says, I can be something bigger and I can be something better because someone believes in me. You did it. Good job. I'm getting these kids ready to be successful in life. Our mission is to surround these students with a community of support. I'm here for you and you can do it. You can still succeed. I will help you make it through school. Well, right now I see a very bright future. And I know I, that when I fall, I have somebody to catch me. I'm really excited about my future, that I can read and I can do math. I think I could be anything I want to be if I just put my mind to it. I'm almost out of high school. I'm figuring I'd go to college, start my life. My future is very bright. The grass is greener on the other side. For these kids to understand how learning is such an important gift the struggles that they go through every day, and yet they can still come to school, and they can have a smile on their face, then I know it made a difference. Okay, so you guys have a couple different things going on. And you get to change the rubber bands? Yep. Okay, so show me something else. Oh, did it didn't work right. It felt good. It came now, what else can your birds do? Right. Now, this is your place, and that's your stop I was thinking about trying Okay, that. try it now. So, you guys are computer programmers? Awesome. Everybody is. Awesome. Very nice job. And what do you guys, are your birds singing over here? Yeah. Let me hear your birds sing. Awesome. Now, can you explain how you're making them sing? Yeah, we have to do a pattern. So, this is the instructions how to do it. So, we have to get them out and then put them in order. And then, when we play play, it started doing it. Awesome. Make them sing one more time. Let me hear it. Hi, my name is Kate Gallagher, Assistant Principal at Southwest Middle School. 
and this is our Meet the Teacher Carnival, first annual, 2015. We have lots of food, games, prizes, a moon bounce, Canine Cody came and visited us, and lots of positive staff interactions, and a free book fair. Check it out. Dr. Khaled Mumin, Superintendent of Reading School District, enjoying the Super Saturday event. This is an excellent opportunity for our kids to engage in a lot of fun activities supported by our partners. This is a great event. One vision, all students, one Reading. I'd like to say thank you so much to many of our partners from Reading Area Community College, uh, the Olivets Boys and Girls Club, and the Fire Department and several others that are in attendance today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It takes a village to raise a child, and this is the village. We'd like to thank the Reading School District and the Intermediate High School for partnering with us today for our National Day for Kids. Each year, the Boys and Girls Club has a important directive to really reach into the community and to bring families together to work with their kids, to have fun with their kids, to play with their kids. And all of it is all about its family, its kids, and its community. I don't care what men may say, I will follow Tons of, of vendors and other organizations here uh, to provide information, entertainment uh, for everyone that, that, that comes and attends. I want to give a special uh, thank you to Cheryl Davis, the assistant principal here at the Intermediate High School, who's very instrumental in organizing all of our partners in creating this, this day. Uh, we also thank uh, those members of the Olivets Boys and Girls Club uh, for uh, really putting all this together. It's a great opportunity for the, uh, for the staff of the Reading School District, the parents of the community, and all of our community partners to celebrate uh, the school, school year here in the Reading School District. Hi, I'm Alan Berleski. I'm a new teacher at the Citadel Reading Intermediate High School. I'm a health and phys ed teacher for 8th and 9th grade. I also am an advisor for the dance club, and I have the dance team behind me. We're here to uh, provide more support and guidance and uh, get our families to come out and have a great time and know about all the great services at Reading. So we have a lot of vendors, a lot of organizations here promoting what they do to basically take Reading to another level. 
Hi, my name is April Rostek. I am the uh, assistant principal at Belmont Elementary School in the Reading School District, and I also coach the Alberta University dance team. We'll be performing today here at Super Saturday, and here is our team. <laughs> to all our partners who are here with us, uh, Reading Hospital, St. Joe's, Amira Health Mercy, local churches, and we're just really grateful for everybody coming together to enjoy our Super Saturday event, Anything for Kids. <laughs> how to believe in yourself. No matter what situation you grow up in or how many obstacles you encounter, you can, be, you can grow to be something legendary and something the whole world will know. Like one thing I, I realized that if I believe in myself, and that's the number one, that's the number one key, that's the most important point, is to believe in yourself because it's gonna be days when you feel like you're dying inside. It's gonna be days when you feel like it ain't no way out of my situation. But it, the impossible is possible. You can make anything happen. You can Come and join us. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Hey you guys, I'm Khalil Edie, host of Reading School District's new game show, 60 Seconds, and today our contestant is Coach Flowers. Hello. How Thank you doing? You. How are you doing? I'm good. How you doing? You ready to play? I'm ready to win. All right, all right. Win? Yes. I'm all right, we'll right. see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. 60 seconds on the clock. What's your full name? Robert Lee Flowers III. What's your birthday? January 6, 1982. Whip or Nene? -nay? Whip. What's your childhood nickname? Spanky. Ah. Favorite athlete? Michael Jordan. What's your favorite holiday? Yeah. Christmas. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes. Do you play fantasy football? No. Twitter or Instagram? Both. Ooh. Give us your favorite cheer. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Rock, 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 steady, Eddie, 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 rock. That's the North Coast A1. All right. Favorite movie? Remember the Titans. Can you tap dance? Absolutely. Show me some. Keep going. That's how you do it. Yep. Are you scared of the dark? Absolutely not. What's your favorite school subject? Gym. Are you a good dresser? Sometimes. Favorite action hero? Superman. Can you play an instrument? Absolutely not. I wish I could. Are you a good dancer? Sometimes. Depends Show on me some. Show to. me some. <laughs> 60 seconds are up. 60 seconds are up. <laughs> Thank you, Coach Flowers, for so much for this is amazing. No Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Go Red Knights. Hey, you guys. I'm Khalil Edie, host of Reading School District's new game show, 60 Seconds. And today, our contestant is the newly elected senior class president, Elise Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready to play? Yes, I am. Okay. 60 seconds on the clock. What's your full name? Elise Marie Jackson. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, Milky Way. Your la the last movie you watched? Um, Forrest Gump. Red or black? Black. Favorite childhood cartoon? Um, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Sheep, Wawa, or Turkey Hill? Wawa. <laughs> Give us your Russin, Russell Wilson prom proposal. Go! Russell Wilson, would you like to go to prom with me? I would love it. Please don't pass it up. Sounds good. Pancakes or French toast? French toast. What do you want to be when you grow up? A teacher. Do you bite your nails? I do. Ew. Can you speak <laughs> another language? 
and he partially speaks Spanish. What's the best achievement you've had today? Today? Um, uh, doing this game show. Yeah! <laughs> place you, what's the place you want to travel to? Italy. How fast can you say the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P. Ah, you're 60 <laughs> seconds are up. I'm sorry. Uh, close enough. Thank you so much, Brian, for doing this with me. <laughs> Bye. Hey you guys, I'm Khalil Eady, host of Reading School District's new game show, 60 Seconds. And today, our contestant is Mr. Dietrich from 13th and Green. Hello. Are you ready to play? Yes. All right, 60 seconds on the clock. What's your full name? Michael Leon Dietrich. Twitter or Instagram? Twitter. What's the nicest thing someone has done for you? Um, my wife takes care of me. First, what's your worst habit? Um, I used to bite my nails, but I cut back. Yeah. Yeah. What did you do for your 16th birthday? I had a birthday party at Blue Marsh. Blue Marsh is always fun. Yeah. How many emails do you get a day? Uh, about a hundred. You're a teacher. Most, what's your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> um, I split my pants one time in school. Embarrassing? Yeah. Do you like sushi? Yes. Ew. Sing us your favorite song. Go. Oh man. Right now it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I mean, elementary school for you. What's your favorite childhood memory? Childhood memory. Being at 13th and Green. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken. Ugh, your 60 seconds are over. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, Red Knights. We'll see you in the next 60 seconds. Hey you guys, I'm Khalil Edi, host of Reading School District's new game show, 60 Seconds, and I'm here with the co-captain of the cheerleading squad, Alexis Williams. <laughs> you ready to play? Yeah. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. 60 seconds on the clock. What's your full name? Alexis Jotis Williams. Which, what was your last dream about? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite school or subject? My favorite school subject, uh, math. What's your favorite holiday? Halloween. What talents do you have? Cheerleading. <laughs> Give us your favorite cheer. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, can, can you juggle? No. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Invisibility. Okay. Wait, is that a superpower? <laughs> Name a state that starts with the letter A. A, Alabama. Your favorite milkshake flavor? Cookies and cream. Favorite TV show? Um, awkward. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Fast food or fast cars? Fast food. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Pink. What color socks are you wearing right now? White. Have you ever owned a goldfish? Yes. Do you want to build a snowman? Sure. <laughs> What's your favorite? What's your, uh, uh, 60 seconds are up! Oh. <laughs> Thank you again for joining us on Red Night TV. We hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll see you next month. Have a great day.